We, we would never have believed it. I remember doing a clinic probably, you know, 10 years ago with uh, many players, including Kyle Yates. I just don't think the world has ever seen a sport that can compare. My dad was my athletic hero. You know, he showed me how to fast pitch a softball and jump shot. All the different sports that I that I got to play in in high school, and college. Um, but he said I found a new sport, and I said, "You're 79. What new sport do you pick up?" And he said, "It's called pickleball." But he said, "I think you're going to like it." So. That was that was the beginning, and uh, I ended up moving my parents up here and uh, spending a lot of time on the pickleball court with my dad. It's very accessible, it's uh, affordable, and you get to mix in with a lot of different people and experience different styles of play, which is always fun. You're smacking this ball. And then in the middle of the point, you're laughing. And I thought, what sport elicits this type of response? Here in Minnesota, we just are very proud of our uh, lifetime uh, facilities here. They've really been on the cutting edge of providing opportunities and tournaments. Um, I've played several tournaments uh, at the Lakeville. Now, most recently, just three minutes from me, they've completely turned uh, one of their lifetime facilities into uh, exclusively pickleball. So that's really exciting. You know, if, if any of us had a crystal ball back uh, 10, 10, 15 years ago, uh, we we would never have believed it. Uh, I remember doing a clinic probably, you know, 10 years ago with uh, many players, including Kyle Yates. And he made the statement, yeah, I'm going to be a professional pickleball player. You know, when you look at the sport and all of the reasons that I've already mentioned, um, it makes total sense. And where is it going? Well, up. <laughs> they can't build enough courts for all of the players. I just don't think the world has ever seen a sport that can compare. It's important because I'm still playing tournaments um, and I got drafted uh by the uh, National Pickleball League to uh, participate on the Naples JBB United. You have to be able to have some uh, universal rating system that we can all kind of grab onto. And it helps um, put us in our place. You know, we all want to, as athletes, we want to want to have a goal and we want to keep achieving. We want to get better. We want to perfect our skills. And that's one way that it, it's a litmus test that we can see how we're doing, how we compare with, with other players. So I, I think it's integral uh, to the sport. It's really nice to have some sort of base uh, way to organize them and put them on courts of equal ability because we've all been on uh, in the situation where you have three players that are 4-0 and then you have a, a 2-5 or a 3-0 uh, player and it just it changes the whole vibe of the game because we've all been in that position and we've all stood on the shoulders of people that have helped us along the way. And I think that's another uh, 
great thing about this sport is that uh, people are very willing to give advice. I feel like I can go anywhere in the United States and, and now beyond and connect with the pickleball community. Pickleball, it's not a sport. It's a phenomenon.